All right. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on FastHockey.com for Ogden Mustang Hockey as the Mustangs take on the visiting San Diego Gulls here from Ogden, Utah. Back to Hobbs at the point. Now back down low to Maudry. Maudry will go down low to Pizarro. Pizarro back to Maudry. He's got to get rid of it. He does to Hobbs. Dax Hobbs with a chance. Quick shot. Rebound sitting right there. Pizarro. He scores! Derek Friend on the rebound. Scores 30 seconds into the period on the power play. And the Mustangs are back within one. Welcome back to the Weber County Ice Sheet for our first intermission report here is the Ogden Mustangs trail the Idaho Junior Steelheads 3 to nothing after one period. Uh, here with Brian Potter, uh, Ogden defenseman. Brian, uh, first of all, your thoughts overall on how you guys did in that first period. Uh, you know, uh, as far as the pace goes, it was pretty good pace. Definitely seems like momentum's on their side. Uh, d- does a bit of that carry over from last weekend? I mean, that was your first road trip, and, and they beat you guys up there. Um, does, it, does it take a bit of an adjustment to come out now at home and, and, and get something going? Yeah, you know, uh, their ice up there is uh, NHL size, and uh, our ice is limited. Uh, this is your last home game. Uh, then you go on a road trip of 12 straight. Talk about how big it would be for to, to get a win tonight. You know what? Uh, I definitely think it'd carry over into the road. And thanks for doing this. Uh, good luck in the second period. Thank you. Mustangs trail 2-1 to one heading into the second period. You heard from Kevin Collins, our uh, intermission interview. Mentioned the need to dump the puck in and chase with a bit more speed. See if they can do that here in this second period as both as the Gulls are back on the ice and we're waiting for the Mustangs to come back in. To recap your scoring real quick, they've credited the first uh, San Diego goal to number 81, Aaron P. Early in this one is Chris Deitch intercepts here. A shot and a goal. Chris Deitch opens the scoring from the top of the circle. A wrist shot that beats Zach Keith low, and the Wildcats have an early 1-0 lead. That's the start they wanted, Gentry. Adam Zacuto, he's the guy we were talking about, the leading scorer for USC. Made a quick hesitation move on the defender, then actually roofed that shot. Top corner, and all of a sudden we've got a 1-1 game with 12.38 left in the first. Chris Roberts now in the corner, back to Mayer. Mayer to Roberts on the sideboards. Roberts walks out, wrist shot, and he scores! Comes Zacuto the other way to the backhand, and he scores! have uh, the official shots from the period, but the Wildcats have got to have at least a 2-1 to one advantage. And here's a breakaway pass for Tim Brownell, all alone, the backhand, just barely saved by uh, Zach Key. Checked extremely well there by Dane Ludolph. And here comes Weaver State the other way, three on two. Devin Benneke goes wide, drops it back to the slot to Ludolph. Ludolph's across to Roberts, one-timer, and he scores! Chris Roberts finishes off a beautiful passing play. It's his second of the game, and the Wildcats are up four goals, six to two. So stays out there. This is a long shift for him, but uh, obviously they need a goal. It's a quick shot from the point, and he scores. Dante Caravaggio, he had four goals last night, scores another one tonight. Uh, Zacuto is going to pick up an assist on it as well, and it's a six to three game, 8.20 left in the game. Uh, this thing maybe isn't over. Rebound is controlled by USC. Zacuto looks in front, the one-timer, and a goal. USC scores, and it's a two-goal game. They make it 6-4 to four on the power play goal. And it looks like it was uh, maybe Corey Adler who came up with the one-timer. On that pass, he probably had more time than he thought, and Keith almost plays that into his own net. Caravaggio still with it. Caravaggio with a shot, kick saved by Flieger. And that'll do it. It's the final buzzer. It goes, and the Wildcats win it 6-4 to four in front of a grateful home crowd.